Thrice the brinded cat that mewed. Thrice and once the hedge pig whined. Harp your cry, tis time, tis time. Round about the cauldron go, in the poison entrails throw. Told that under cold stone, days and nights has thirty-one. Swell to been got, boil thou first in the charmed pot. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burning, cauldron bubble. Lay a fenny snake in the cauldron. Thrice the brinded cat that mewed. Thrice and once the hedge pig whined. Harp your cry, tis time, tis time. Round about the cauldron go, in the poison entrails throw. Told that under cold stone, days and nights has thirty-one. Swelter venom and sleeping god, boil thou first in the charmed pot. Double, double, toil and trouble, trouble, fire burning, cauldron bubble. Lay a fenny snake in the cauldron, boil and bake. Eye of newt and tough frog, wool of bat and tongue of dog. Adder's fork and blind worm's sting, lizard's leg and howlet's wing. For a charm, a powerful trouble, like a hell broth, boil and bubble. Double, double, toil and trouble, trouble, fire burning, cauldron bubble. Scale of dragon, tooth of wolf, witch's mummy, maw and gall, of the raven, salt sea shark, root of hemlock, digged eye thy dart, liver of blasphemy Jew, gall of goat, and slip of you, silvered in the moon's eclipse, nose of Turk and Tartar's lips. Finger of birth strangled babe, ditch delivered by a drab. Make the gruel thick and slab, and there too a tiger's cauldron. For thy ingredients are cauldron. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burning, cauldron bubble. Cool it with the baboon's blood, then the charm is firm and good. Oh, well done, I commend your pains, and everyone shall share, if thy gains. And now about the cauldron sing, like elves and fairies in a ring, and enchanting all that you bring in. By the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. Open locks, whoever knocks. How now, you secret black and midnight hags? What is it you do? A deed without a name. I conjure you by that which you profess. However you may come to know it, answer me. Though you untie the winds and let them fight against the churches through the yeasty waves, confound and swallow navigation up. Though bladed corn be lodged and trees blown down, though castles topple on their waters' heads, though palaces and pyramids do slope, their heads to their foundations, though the treasure of nature's Germans tumble all together, even till destruction sicken, answer me to what I ask you. Speak, demand, will answer. Say if thou hadst rather hear it from our mouths, or from our masters. Pour in sow's blood that hath eaten, her nine pharaoh, grease that sweetened. Come high or low, thyself in office deathly show. Beware with the dust. Beware the thing of fight. Dismiss me. Enough. Whatever thou art, for thy good caution, thanks. Thou hast harped my fear aright. But one word more. He will not be commanded. Here's another more potent than the first. It's Beth. It's Beth. It's Beth. Had I three ears, I'd hear thee. Be bloody, old and prison. Laugh to scorn the power of man, for none of woman born shall harm me. Then live, Macduff, what need I fear of thee? But yet I'll make assurances double sure, and take a bond of fate, thou shalt not live. That I may tell pale-hearted fear its lies, and sleep in spite of thunder. All right, ready? Listen, but speak not to it. You lie, man, how to take no heed. Who chaps to fret to work in spires on? Macbeth shall never be vanquished, to the great river went to high ducks in hell, shall come against you. That will never be. Who can impress the forest, bid the tree, unfix his earthbound root, sweet bottom its good, rebellious dead, rise never till the wood of Burnham rise, and our high place Macbeth shall live the lease of nature, pay his breath to time and mortal custom. Yet my heart throbs to know one thing. Tell me, if your art can tell so much, shall Banquo's issue ever reign in this kingdom? Seek to know no more! I will be satisfied. Deny me this, and an eternal curse fall on you. Let me know. Show! 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 Show his eyes and grieve his heart! Come like shadows, 
so depart. Thou art too like the spirit of Banquo. Down, thy crown the seer mine eyeballs, and thy hair, thou other gold-bound brow, is like the first. A third is like the former. Filthy hags, why do you show me this? A four, start eyes. What will the line stretch out to thy crack of doom? Another yet? Seventh? Which shows me many more. And yet the eighth appears. I'll see no more. And some I see, that twofold balls and treble scepters carry. Horrible sight, now I see it is true. For the blood vultured Banquo smiles upon me, and points at them for his. What is this so? Aye, sir, all this is so, but why? Stands Macbeth, thus amazedly? Come, sisters, cheer we up his sprites, and show the best of our delights. I'll charm the air to give a sound, while you perform your antic round, that this great king may kindly say, our duties did his welcome pay. Where are they? Gone? Let this pernicious hour stand I accursed in the calendar.